Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing something a little different. So this is something I might start doing on my channel. I don't know yet. We'll see if y'all enjoy this type of video. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But my, one of my friends on YouTube, Rachel Grace, she's amazing. I love her. And she does a series on her channel called tea drinking and Bible reading and what she does is I don't know how she, she exactly like picks them out like if she has follows a plan or what but she every once in a while she'll film a video and it's her reading and discussing a passage from the Bible and she's drinking her tea while she's doing it because she loves tea so I thought I'd do that today I don't drink tea I have <laughs> in the place of that I put in too much milk, but that's okay. It's fine. I can still drink it. It's Tim Hortons. It's great. So just a little bit of background on myself. I accepted Christ as my savior when I was about six or seven. I don't remember the exact age and neither do my parents. So I consider that fine that I don't remember how old I was, but I do remember getting saved. So that's the important part. <laughs> but I was born and raised in a Baptist household. There's tons of different branches but I just call myself a Baptist and I currently attend a Baptist church I believe it's an independent Baptist church but like as far as that goes I've visited tons of churches before I've been to Presbyterian Bible churches non-denominational like I that's where I'm going to a Baptist church right now I don't necessarily believe that like you have to go I always think it's a fun experience to see other denominations and non-denominations and see how other churches work because there are aspects you know no denomination is perfect so anyways without further ado well a little introduction of myself so i'm going to be reading from the esv bible you can use whatever version you like mine might sound a little different from yours but that's all good and the passage today that I wanted to read is from 2 Samuel, and it's chapter 20, if I can find it. <laughs> Here we go. And it's verses 15 through 22, and I'll just read them right here. And all the men who were with Joab came and besieged him in Abel of Beth Mecca. I don't know how to pronounce that, sorry. They cast up a mound against the city, and it stood against the rampart, and they were battering the wall to throw it down. Then a wise woman called from the city, Listen, listen, tell Joab, come here, that I may speak to you. And he came near her, and the woman said, Are you Joab? He answered, I am. Then she said to him, Listen to the words of your servant. And he answered, I am listening. Then she said, They used to say in former times, Let them ask, but let them but ask counsel at Abel. And so they settled in a, they settled the matter. I am one of those who are peaceable and faithful in Israel. You seek to destroy a city that is a mother in Israel. Why would you swallow up the heritage of the Lord? Job answered, Far be it from me, far be it, that I should swallow up or destroy. That is not true, but a man of the hill country of Ephraim, called Sheba the son of Bichri, has lifted up his hand against King David. Give him, give up him alone, and I will withdraw from the city. And the woman said to Job, Behold, his head shall be thrown to you over the wall. Then the woman went to all the people in her wisdom, and they cut off the head of Sheba and the son of Bichri and threw it out to Joab. So he blew the trumpet, and they dispersed from the city, every man to his home. And Joab returned to Jerusalem to the king. So anyways, you might think like, well, that's a strange passage to talk about because it's not like, you know, Jonah and the Whale or some popular story. But when I was reading... The Best Yes by Lisa Turkhurst. She mentioned this passage in a chapter, and if you have this book, it's chapter four. And 
chapter four is all about wisdom. So on it really starts on page 42, but on 43 is where she really talks about her. And, you know, this woman has no name. They just call her a wise woman. And uh, it says in this book, we know this woman was a wi was wise because the scripture label the scriptures label her as a wise woman, but wisdom wasn't just her label; it was her lifestyle. And this woman had established a pattern of making wise choices in her life. And when she she didn't have to try and convince the people that her advice was wise because they knew it, they trusted her, trusted her knowledge, her insight, and her discernment. I feel like when women are mentioned in the Bible, it's very important you pay attention to it because the, they really did not have any power whatsoever in the community. And, you know, like Deborah from Judges, she was a prophetess and you rare, you never really hear about that anywhere else in the Bible. And like this wise woman, she doesn't have a name, but she has this lasting impact and she like saved the city from destruction. And I feel like it's always important to pay attention to those. And, you know, wisdom is something that I want to have, you know, like, in the Bible, it talks about, you know, gray hairs are a sign of wisdom, so, you know, I don't have any gray hairs yet, so clearly, probably not wise, but, you know, trying to make wise decisions is so important, especially now, you know, now that I'm independent and not, you know, not under my parents' roof anymore, so when I read this passage, you know, I've never read it before, and I thought it was really cool and really awesome, so that's the little snippet I wanted to share with you today. If you've read this story before, let me know down below. And if you haven't, let me know and what you thought about it. And if you like these videos and think that I should do more of them, I really didn't drink any of my coffee. Hold on. And I'll also link Rachel's videos down below. I don't, I can't remember if she has a playlist of her tea drinking and Bible reading videos, but if she does, I'll link the playlist. And if she doesn't, I'll just link one of them so you can see them. Probably, I'll probably link my favorite one. And maybe we'll collab. Rachel, want to do that? <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and want to see me do more of these. I have two or three other ones that I want to do that I think will be fun and you know if you don't like these I don't it doesn't really matter because if I end up posting another one it's because I want to <laughs> but anyways I'll see you guys in my next video bye